Call of Duty, or as the kids call it, COD. One of the most popular franchises out there today, known by, I would say, pretty much every gamer out there, mainstream, casual, or anything in between. And there's an article recently that caught my attention that wanted me that I wanted to talk about. And it's an article from GameSpot that says, Call of Duty is best-selling console game franchise in the, in the US for 10 years in a row. And I wanted to explore why, why does a game that so many people seem to hate on still, st for some reason, still sells more than so many other games, even if it is, even if we do see reports that uh, other games are selling better than, than this one, why is it still always the best selling game every year over and over and again? And hopefully in this video, I will be able to explain this to you in a very, uh, well educated way <laughs> so welcome to another me time reacts where i take a topic off of the web and i discuss about it with you and you can, of course can leave your comment below what you think uh, of the topic at hand uh, you're in favor against or in this case uh, uh i'll go through some of the biggest uh, ten, uh, biggest uh, games uh, of, the, of the franchise sorry the, the best game in the call of duty franchise and in, in the last 10 years uh, for if you're if you're regular here, you'll see that Call of Duty is not something I play uh, very often, uh, except for betas lately. But it is a series I understand why it's popular among everybody. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So let's go. Approaching the drop zone. Locked and loaded. So in that GameSpot article, there is a link to Activision blog where they uh, thank basically, uh, this is where the news came from, from Activision explaining, for thanking fans basically for why Call of Duty has been the, the best console selling game for the last 10 years. So basically there, if uh, I'll try to post it right here there. So basically it says in the first paragraph, 2018 was an amazing year for Call of Duty fans. Thank you for your tremendous support for Black Ops 4 or Blops 4 with the cool kids and thank you for your continued inspiration to play Call of Duty. The NPD group announced this week that 2018 marks the 10th consecutive year that Call of Duty is the best-selling console video game franchise of the year in the US, which which would only be possible with the support from this amazing community. Now it keeps going on, there's a little bit more here, um, a bit more, uh, and it explains what are the, 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 the last uh, what is the the last 10 year game look like so we'll go through the list so if we start from the beginning and this is actually the beginning of the list is where i started playing the game let's go backwards probably better so the like of course last year you had black ops 4 the year before you had world war 2 before that infinity warfare black ops 3 advanced warfare ghost black Op, black Ops 2 modern warfare 3 which is the last call of duty i played then you have black ops and then you have the infamous and ever so popular modern warfare 2 so what makes call of duty such a selling game why do people keep flocking back i think the main appeal of call of duty is because now i know this is going to be a derogatory term but it's because it appeals to the masses or what i guess what everybody what uh, hardcore gamers would call casual gamers it fits into that category where they're able to pluck every little game out every gamer that it just it sells to everybody everybody knows what it is you can say call of duty to 50 year old they'll probably know what it is they'll still think you're playing it on the nintendo but <laughs> it's still they know what call of duty is because it's a, it's a household name they keep bringing back the classics of what uh, casual and hardcore gamers like like about the game of course and of course what what gave Black Ops 4 the big boost this year is the introduction to the ever infamous um, Battle Royale mode Blackout, which when it came out, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people still play it on Twitch, is still a very popular Battle Royale mode. Uh, even when I played it, it, I felt it had a lot, uh, a lot of things different from Fortnite, from PUBG, from uh, Arma, from all those other battle royale out there, from H1Z1, which uh, sort of disappeared off the map, but that's a topic for another time. So this is that's one of the points why this game keeps selling over and over again. They know how to sell the game to everybody out there, and also they, instead of doing like it's hard, to, I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's really difficult. Like if you're trying to sell, let's say uh, like Red Dead. Red Dead was actually one of those other games last year that sold 
probably one of the best selling games in total i would say but the npd doesn't actually uh, i think uh, pinpoint that exactly in their thing but uh then yeah they d sorry at the bottom of the article let me go back so yeah it, they did they did mention uh for the is keep in mind this is best console selling game it doesn't include everything but if we go back and we look to also according to npd report uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 was the best-selling game of 2018 in the U.S., followed by Call of Duty Black Ops 4, NBA, Madden, Super Smash, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I, that does not include PC cell, but what happens is Call of Duty, because it has such a wide range of games in their inventory, it keeps selling over and over. This article also points out, the, the, the GameSpot article also mentions that uh, older games keep selling. I know, like, when uh, Modern Warfare, the remake remake came out uh two three years ago when uh, they released infinite warfare yeah two years ago th no four years ago three years ago <laughs> sorry three years ago when they released uh infinite warfare they released uh modern warfare re uh, mod the first modern warfare uh basically the the beginning of what i would say where sort of where call of duty sort of exploded back into the scene becoming a more of a populist type of game I know personally, my first Call of Duty game that I remember playing, I probably played, I probably played those old Call of Duty World War ones, I don't remember exactly the names there, but I know the one that got me back into the series when sort of, I, I, when I got back into gaming was Modern Warfare 2 in 2009, just because it has that iconic, so many iconic scenes in the game itself, like, uh, sorry, there might be spoilers if you haven't played a 10 year old game, but you have uh, the beginning of the game where you're at the airport and you're just killing everybody with Makarov, if I remember correctly, the main. Remember, no rush. Then you also have the um, you have the scene where big spoiler here where uh, Ghost is killed by basically your your squad not your 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 general I don't remember exactly Shepard I'm not a hundred percent sure. And then after that you're reunited with isn't black in, in modern Fort Worth too yeah with um. McTavish and the other older gentleman and then the end of the game I won't hey, you kill that general there at the end there you and uh, soap your soap actually and then on from there and yeah the infamous scene where they killed ghost yeah that was very unfortunate that's what I found weird actually when they released ghost in 2013 I thought that was like the big comeback like he wasn't actually dead or this I haven't played it so I don't know I stopped after modern warfare 3 unfortunately but it's one of those for me personally modern warfare 2 was, was always that flagship one that there's so many memorable um uh, memorable campaign mission which oddly enough because it's a it's a multiplayer game at heart but the where the campaign just went all out and that's what for me personally attracted me to the modern warfare but back into why so many people play these games that we've seen over the last couple of years called doing this doing this back and forth between xbox and playstation basically who has the more consumers on their console and that helps a lot of course because usually usually we'll see uh Usually the first people to buy consoles, in my opinion, will be the hardcore gamers. They'll buy day one, I bought it day one. And usually the one that will uh, amass the bigger sell, who, who sell pitch or who, who is their cheapest will balance. In this case, we have PlayStation 4. And that's why compared to the Xbox 360 where Call of Duty was on that time, PS4 became sort of the Call of Duty <laughs> console after that. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong, but that's what it appeared to be. And because there was so many high number after uh, it be, it, after the console sales went from just being hardcore gamers to actually once everybody saw it, that's what that's the point I was trying to make. When people actually saw which console were what's selling more, that's when the casual gamers said, "Okay, well, this is the popular one right now. We'll buy this console." Then of course that's why Call of Duty goes there, and that's that's usually uh, I can bet you a lot of money that the reason why Call the PS4 sells a lot is because one of the big factor is because Call of Duty appeal is attacking that uh, 
to, to, to that console. I'm not saying that's why all it sells. There, that could be a discussion another day why PlayStation is selling the most game right now, unless they, they and it might go off course in the next 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 generation if you keep going the way they are. But that's another another topic. Still, why does Call of Duty keep selling more and more? I think it's because they've accumulated so many. Um, they've accumulated. They, they've accumulated so much of the gamer populace that every time they come out with something innovative and now since infinite warfare they've been doing sort of a sort of a future past middle they've been hitting all the all the all the everywhere in the timeline basically well there's not i don't think there's actually a timeline except for modern warfare and black ops i don't actually think there is a a can consecutive story in those games but they've been hitting They've been giving every year a different thing for different people and it seems to be fitting for everybody else where we see Battlefield, where we see Battlefield, so, so, not trying to find their, their footing because I, I personally, after Modern Warfare 3, I went on to Battlefield 4 and I actually found that Battlefield 4 had better mechanics. I liked the modes a lot better than, well, that's my opinion. I don't play those games anymore because I just don't have time to keep ranking up and prestiging and all those things. Uh, it's not real. I, like, I, like you'll see on my channel, like I mentioned before, I, I don't play a lot of multiplayer uh, f FPS shooters in my cha on my channel. But Call of Duty always comes back and brings back the classic, like Nuketown. Nuketown, I think for the last, I don't, I don't exactly remember what. I think it's from Ghost. I might be wrong. I might be totally wrong. I'll probably put the right one here if I can, if I remember. But. Uh, uh, since Nuketown is the like one seems to be the most popular level in the Call of Duty game, and it's, of course they're uh, over and over, they keep bringing it back or year after year after year, improving on the model and improving because I guess the uh, I'm assuming because it has such a nice flow to the map and it's the, I guess it's a well designed map. That's what I'm assuming. Usually that's what I'm looking for when I I'm enjoying the map. I remember in Water Modern Warfare 2, my favorite maps were high rise because it was I, I enjoyed sniping so i had you had the crane you can go snipe on hopefully i can put a picture here to show you guys but uh and so far i think there was a couple more but i don't remember all of them now uh but there's so many awesome things going on in call of Duty, giving players what they want every time and of course they they every year we always think that they're declining or they're not speaking to their fans but they're such a core group that doesn't say anything but will buy the game every time anyway and also what helps a lot is Call of Duty really managed to get the a whole of the esports scene too compared to like Battlefield. I don't really see Battlefield doing FPS or the only call the only thing comparing to Call of Duty on the esport in, in esport would be like CS:GO, but it's I personally don't even find they're the same game. They, they don't even compete in the same category. Yeah, they're FPS, but one's like a very highly team based well both of them can be team based i don't know it's just for me it's not the same goal to the game anyway i'm, I'm getting out of my territory here <laughs> but those are some of the reasons why i think call of duty always seems to manage to get their way past every other game and just makes it out clean cut all the time and we'll definitely keep saying especially with the advances of uh maybe uh since they're broadening uh with with uh, the epic store coming attacking sort of the steam market uh so many cool things and we're going to see a lot more downloads uh, of the game itself and i'm not pretty much saying anything here but the game has proven over the last 10 even 15 years if we go back even more that it is the go-to fps shooter for every game a lot of people will disagree you'll probably disagree with me of course tell me in the comments below what what you think makes call of duty uh one of the best selling games and of course i'm waiting for the comment that's gonna say because it's good for key, uh, kids and 13 year old squeakers or whatever you want to call it and lately too one thing i found out too is youtube youtubers and, and streamers are finding ways to like innovate on the multiplayer game like people doing like uh, i don't remember his name but there's like one streamer or one youtuber that was recording and he pretended to be a squeaker and then another guy pretending to be a guy in uh, belarus or whatever pretending like he knows the entire address because that kid like docks the guy before uh, playing with him or whatever so many funny videos and so many cool things going on in black ops especially with all the innovative not technology but innovative cool tricks they make in the game but of course if you don't agree 
If you don't agree with me, tell me in the comments below what your favorite FPS is. It could be Battlefield, it could be any other game I'm not thinking about right now. If you if you really enjoy Call of Duty, tell me what in the in the list I mentioned of the last 10 years, which one's your favorite? Mine was Modern Warfare 2, yours can be Black Ops 3, whatever it is. Uh, definitely tell me in the comments below. And if you enjoyed these, or if you if you're in if you enjoyed these, these videos, of course, let me know in the comments below any topics you want me to try next. I got a couple more that, down the list I'm going to try to uh, talk about or explain. And there's many more trailers coming out for future games that are that I want to see and talk about with you guys and girls and whoever. And, uh, of course, go follow me everywhere at me time. Hit that like button, of course. Subscribe to the channel. That always helps. Of course, go follow me everywhere at me time. Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. And right here on YouTube, where I post multiple, n multiple videos a week. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you next video. Keep on, keep it on.